Cleveland's Department of Public Health says it is in a battle to save lives fighting what's likely the city's biggest health concern, smoking. Ohio spends $15 million every year trying to get people to quit, but it's a battle against Goliath. Big Tobacco, those companies spend $430 million a year in Ohio. And so we're not going to be able to outspend them on education. In February, public health proposed legislation that would ban the sale of menthol and flavored tobacco products across the city in an effort to cut down on the city's smoking problem. But News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis tells us some eight months later, that proposal still hasn't had as much as a hearing in front of Cleveland's health committee. A lot of folks didn't know that so many people still are smoking in Cleveland and that it's still the number one cause of death. Cleveland Public Health Director Dr. Dave Margolius says Cleveland has a major health issue when it comes to smoking, easily one of the worst cities in the country facing this public health risk. The rest of the country's smoking rate is now 11 percent. That's down from 20 percent 20 years ago. During that same time, Cleveland's smoking rate has gone up from 30% to 35%. Cleveland's smoking problem had Dr. Margolius launching the Coalition to End Tobacco targeting this year, made up of some 50 local hospital systems and nonprofit agencies, proposing legislation to ban the sale and marketing of menthol and flavored tobacco products citywide in an effort to curb the smoking health hazard. Even the minor inconvenience of having to get in your car and drive further to get flavored tobacco products will help people quit because, as I said, most people want to quit. To try to limit something just on the city of Cleveland, it's not going to work. But Ward 8 Cleveland Councilman Michael Polenzik and other council members believe a wider Cuyahoga County ban or even a statewide ban on menthol and flavored tobacco products would have more impact. Polenzik says stepped up public education in the form of anti-smoking messages on billboards, social media and messages at home from parents are the biggest part in solving Cleveland's smoking health issue. A lot of kids in our society who don't have parents enforcing it because the parents are engaged in it. That's the other side of it equation. When you have parents smoking at home, how do you expect the kids not to? Polenzik says a simple citywide ban on flavored and menthol products would hurt Cleveland small business owners. We know the impact on local businesses who are struggling, who are struggling big time. And that's what we hear from them now. But Margolius says if Cleveland would pass its ban like Columbus did last year, he says other Northeast Ohio suburban cities would follow suit and believes it wouldn't hurt local business owners. This is a, a spreadsheet of the 600 tobacco retailers in the city of Cleveland. And uh, very few are uh, small businesses independently owned. And Health Director Margolius is hoping that Cleveland Council right here at City Hall will finally consider his proposed ban on menthol products or at least take a look at the legislation before the Cleveland Health Department before the end of the year. You know, News 5 will follow through on this developing story. Reporting right here at Cleveland City Hall, I'm News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis numbers are staggering. So if you're looking to quit smoking, one of the better resources is a free hotline run by the Ohio Department of Health. Dial 1-800-QUIT-NOW. You'll be directed to coaches to help you stop smoking. You can also be directed to free nicotine replacement therapies like a ga the gum or the patch. More information on the program posted right now on news5cleveland.com.